Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of electrical B7 power system engineering BO exam. And this is a question from December 2024. It is basically multiple uh, sub questions about transformers. I selected this one, call it part one. Hopefully I will be able to solve the other parts as well. I choose this one because it is something different than what I have uh, solved so far about transformers in a B7 exam. So let's see the question. It says here a 50 kVA 7.2 by 14 by 4 kV transformer has a loss of 562 watt from the open circuit test. So this test is basically uh, measured during the open circuit test and the loss of 625 during the short circuit test. First find the or estimate the transformer efficiency at 50% of the load and 0.8 power factor uh, uh, lagging or leading, it doesn't really matter, at the rated voltage. Now we need to understand this question. Now the loss that we measure during the open circuit test, the P that is from the open circuit test is the basically is the core loss. This is the core loss in the transformer and it is 562 watt. The power that is basically coming from the short circuit test is basically is your cover loss or the winding loss, which is equal to 620.25. This loss is a function of the voltage. This loss is function of the current. And it's basically equal to I square, I square R. Okay, now when we say that the transformer at the rated voltage, it means that the core loss is constant, doesn't change. So in part A, your B core is equal to 562 watt. Half the load, 20% of the load, 100% of the load, it doesn't really matter. As far as the voltage is constant, so at 50% of the load, this is your losses. Okay, now for the cover loss is different because the cover loss or the winding loss is I squared times R. When the load is reduced to one half, it means the current reduced to one half. I squared R means that reduced to one over four. So your B winding loss at 50% of the load is equal to one half square times the value at the full current, which is the 625, because this, the short circuit test is done at the full load current, and this will give me 156.25 watt. So we found the losses. Now, what is the efficiency? The efficiency is P out over P out plus summation of the losses. Okay, now we know the losses, we need to find B out. What is B out? B out is equal to one half, because it's half the load, times the KVA rating, which is the 50 times 10 to the power of three, times the power factor, which is 0.8. That is your power, which is equal to 20 kilowatt. So your efficiency is equal to 20 times 10 to the power of three, divide by 20 times 10 to the power 3 plus the 562 plus the 156.25 times 100 and this will give me an efficiency equal to 96.53%. So that is the efficiency of your transformer. Let's go to part B, the load that provide the maximum efficiency. What is the load condition at which you will get your maximum efficiency? Now, the maximum efficiency happens when your P core equal to the P of the winding. When this happens, basically you get the maximum efficiency. This is a well-known uh, fact. We can derive this, but it's not the time for that that the transformer has maximum efficiency when the core loss and the winding loss are equal. Now, the core loss is constant, doesn't change, okay? 
which is basically your 562 equal to a factor which is the x squared this is coming from the i square r so the factor the square times the the losses which is basically your uh, basically your 625 so if you have 100 percent load x is equal to man of course 562 it doesn't equal to 625 so this has to be less than the full load so it's very trivial your x square is equal to 562 divided by 625 so your x is the square root of 562 over 625 which is equal approximately 0.948 or it is when the load is 94.8 percent so at that condition you will have the maximum efficiency the last part two design changes that you would suggest to improve the efficiency now we know that the efficiency is equal to p out over p out plus summation of the losses and we have two losses we have the winding loss loss which is equal to i square r now i you don't have control over it because this is the demand of coming from the customer so you have control over r what is r is the resistance of the winding and this r is equal to l over conductivity times a so one way to change the conductivity is to use a material uh, we have either copper or aluminum so obviously the copper has a better conductivity so uh, if you are using aluminum use copper so this will reduce basically the the r or and this is more basically because most of the people use one material either aluminum or copper change the a what is a is the cross sectional area so the cross so the conductor cross sectional area a increase this so once you increase a then r will be reduced then your winding loss will be reduced as as well now this will lead to have a bigger winding bigger tank more oil so the cost of course will increase when you increase the efficiency of the transformer so this is coming from the winding loss from the core loss also you can reduce that now the core losses are two types of losses basically ed current ed and hysteresis these are the two losses now how to reduce the ed current loss by using a material with a very very thin uh, basically thickness okay this is what will reduce the ed current now from my experience as a transformer engineer usually the material that we have is 0.5 millimeter thickness okay so it's pretty standard so you cannot do much to reduce the ed current loss but you there are certain ways to reduce the hysteresis loss and one way to reduce the hysteresis we use what we call laser treated core so basically here it becomes the sheets of the uh, magnetic material and it is basically treated with laser like this now what does this laser does it basically constrain the domains okay of the magnetic material so basically when when we talk about the hysteresis loss uh, in the uh, transformer basically it follows the cycle so if i can basically limit the domains the magnetic domains in each region it becomes easier to rotate them as we basically as we going through the cycle and this will reduce the hysteresis current loss we also use uh, amorphous core this crystal material and this also can basically reduce the the hysteresis loss so you have both and sometimes when we design the materials based on the requirement of the customer we do that well there is one last way is basically to reduce the uh, uh, b the flux density i have one video i can share it with you in the uh, in, in the video description that this is the first formula we use for transformer design that the voltage per 10 is equal to 4.44 times f times b times a so if i reduce the value of b far a bit less than the basic the knee point then i need to increase the a what is a is the cross-sectional area of the core 
Now, when you reduce B, you are reducing the losses, the core losses as, as well. So this is if you have to use the same material, you cannot use laser treated or you cannot use uh, basically amorphous core, then you can play with the value of B. But again, this will lead to the increase of the cost of the transformer. So they ask only for two design changes. I give you a couple of those uh, changes to reduce the losses and hence improve the efficiency of the transformer.